Taking a Hold of the Sex Trafficking Industry Using Sweden's Example by Jennifer Garza, April 9, 2013. Currently, there are about 14,500 to 17,500 foreign nationals that are trafficked into the U.S. According to the U.S. Attorney of Justice report, General John Ashcroft states that the number of U.S. citizens trafficked within the country is even higher with an estimated 200,000 American children at risk for being trafficked into the sex industry. After researching different organizations on sex trafficking, I noticed that each organization has one overall message, curb the appeal of the sex trafficking business. But how can this be done? One way the United States government has helped is by setting up a plan to help be a voice for the millions of victims that are unheard. The process has been slow, but the U.S. has set up steps for itself and other countries to help establish definitions, regulations, and penalties for the sex trafficking industry. All of these steps have helped in identifying, rescuing, and hindering more victims of these heinous acts. However, during my research, I came across a very striking piece of information. In the country of Sweden, sex trafficking and even prostitution have declined dramatically. According to the humantrafficking.org, in 2007, Sweden only had about 105 to 130 women actively prostituting, both on the internet and on the street. This number is extremely low compared to other countries half the size of Sweden and run about 5,000 active women. So what has Sweden done to accomplish this great feat? They have criminalized the brokering and purchasing of sexual services. However, the selling of it is still legal. The country is going after the ones demanding sexual services instead of the other way around. Joan Smith, a human activist and author, wrote an article for The Independent, a British newspaper. The article tells of an evening when she accompanied a police officer during a prostitution sting. She and the officer waited around in the squad car and the officer eventually encountered a sex purchaser. Joan got to see firsthand of what is done during this scenario. She writes that for many years they were arresting the wrong person. That night the buyer was given the choice of admitting and paying a fine or denying and then going before a court. The prostitute is also given a choice. She is offered help to get out of the business or she can simply walk away. Today, Sweden continues with their renegade ideas and monitors their internet for pimp advertisements. In 2011, two people were convicted of sex trafficking and 11 for pimping connected to sex trafficking. Perhaps the U.S. can in turn use some of Sweden's ideas and help curb the sex trafficking business in the States. For more information on sex trafficking, go to polarisproject.org or call the National Sex Trafficking Hotline at 888-373-7888. If you know someone or you yourself are ever in danger of being trafficked, you can also text 233-733 for help. Thank you for watching.